This is day one of the actual lockdown and things are pretty quiet around where I am. I'm in Henneva. Things are definitely quiet, but lots of people have been out on their terraces just enjoying and I'm so grateful I'm staying in a place that has a terrace and a rooftop terrace because that means I can still come outside and I don't just have to be in the house. There's a lot of people who don't have terraces and they're really just stuck in their houses. So I'm very grateful for this situation. It's just totally surreal. It doesn't feel real even though it's very real. It doesn't feel real because, well, never experienced anything like this before. So just taking it one step at a time. I'm super grateful that I do have this rooftop terrace to work out on. Yesterday it was sunny and like the perfect conditions for my workout and I feel awesome. <laughs> that view though. market and I'm the only person in here. It was like a ghost town walking here. It's a ghost town in the market. I'm wearing plastic gloves. It just feels so eerie. All right, it's super windy out today. This is a mission, carrying this stuff back to where I'm staying because it's all uphill. I got two jugs of water down there and a bag of groceries. It's definitely the jugs of water that are making this mission more difficult going back, but we need water. Oh, that was a crazy experience and uh, yeah, keep on trucking along. As soon as I got back from the grocery store, yeah, I washed my hands immediately, of course, because I think that's what you have to do in these circumstances. Just keep on being as hygienic as possible. And I had an apple and I love apples and it was so delicious. So that was well worth the trip to the market just for that apple. They just announced that they're going to shut the airports here in Majorca. I knew that was coming anyway and uh yeah lockdown is locking down even tighter these are her friends playing right now yeah in that direction <laughs> that direction i just showed you guys <laughs> holly jazz my um, choir teacher, who's absolutely amazing, it's a producer, writer, she's got a CD coming out, she's amazing, yeah. Amazing! <laughs> sunbathing look at you <laughs> yeah getting that belly a little tan alcoholing the doors since the neighbors were going to the grocery store well one of them because you can only go alone they were so nice to take a list and drop off groceries for us at the door and uh, this is what Helen's doing now is just bringing things in but how nice of the neighbors like that's a very neighborly thing to do you know so everything was just left right here I got some new clothes washing stuff. Sun's gonna go down soon. Well, it is the evening now of day five. It actually was like an awesome afternoon, but definitely this morning it started off a little bit rocky. And I think everyone's feeling that because everyone I talk to is telling me they're like really up and down. So I think that's totally normal in this situation because we're all locked down in houses and we can't really do much. So I think we're all in the same roller coaster ride. All in all, it's been a really great day. But I'm just making some dinner. So I cut up a bit of potatoes, carrots, onions, garlic. And then Helen got some lamb chops. So we're gonna have lamb and veggies tonight. Look at that. It's the morning of day six. And 
I love coming outside to enjoy my coffee. It's a bit chilly and windy this morning. I clearly have not done anything with myself yet. <laughs> I just brought my coffee outside to enjoy the view and take in some sun, but the clouds covered it. The clouds covered it. Anyway, another day. I got something on you there. There we go. Yeah, so now there's something there too. Okay, there we go. I'm excited to see what today brings. There's the sun. She's back. Oh look, someone left a bag of potatoes. What? Yeah, someone left a bag of potatoes. Oh no, oranges. Oh no, they're oranges. Nice. And the landlord. How nice. Oh. Look at that. I can't even look at the camera right now because the sun suddenly came out again, so it's super bright. I don't know where I would be without my exercises. I'm working out right now, I'm doing Insanity Max 30 from Beachbody, and I really love intense hit workouts because I like to get my butt kicked. But my workouts every day are definitely keeping me high vibe, just getting the blood flowing and the happy endorphins and getting a good workout for my body, staying in shape. Helen made a glass of orange juice with the oranges that were delivered, so. It is so good. Day seven, guys. I just had a shower, so I have a towel on my head, but Helen just made us a nice Saturday brunch. So I'm gonna go have some brunch and then I'm gonna blow dry my hair because today was hair washing day. I only do it once every few days. Check that out guys. How spoiled are we? It's about 2.30 p.m. and I'm running to the shop. I forgot it's Saturday. Sometimes the shops close at like two. So I'm really hoping that it's still open. Pretty quiet out. Someone walking their dog up there. But otherwise, it's totally silent. Shopping was successful. So that's give you can see all the kids. Lots of stuff. Of course, I think wine is essential. I'm just happy it was successful. Mission accomplished. Every time I come outside or like go to the shop, which is this is only my second time since lockdown is day seven, I always feel like I'm like incognito and I need to get out and get back. It's funny how you start to feel that way, but definitely. That's the way I'm feeling. <laughs> Ziggy, you're gonna put your little paws all over her clean counter. No, you're not. We got our Saturday night jam session going on. Well, it's every day of the week at 6 p.m. We make sure we watch the jam. And it's happening now and it's so good, I can't help but dance. You guys can see it's Fungus, Fungus Party Band de Mallorca. I love it so much. 8 p.m. every night. Thanking the healthcare workers. Amazing. Hey, Ziggy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ziggy? What are you doing? Hi. Oh, you're so cute. We've made it through the whole week. It's Sunday. Um, it's hard to believe one week down, just like that. I think like the first few days, it took me a bit to get into my rhythm and my routine. But now I'm in this awesome routine and awesome rhythm. And you know, my days are structured and planned out. And I'm doing so good. I'm so happy because I'm really, keeping myself busy, focusing on doing stuff for myself and supporting others, having lots of video chats with friends that I haven't talked to in so long. So if anything, this whole situation is actually bringing people closer together and you know, opening up communication with people, which is really, really cool. That's probably one of my favorite parts about this. Going into lockdown, it can maybe seem a little scary at first, but once you get into it and you get into a rhythm and realize, you know, there's always a positive side to everything, then uh, it's actually like pretty amazing how much you can fill up your day and how fast you can fill up your day. It's a beautiful sunny day today. It was raining and thunderstorms earlier, but now it's great. And we're gonna fire up the barbecue, have a little Sunday barbecue sesh. Just the ultimate lounger. Also guys, this is 
Our little barbecue we're gonna use tonight. But we just gotta empty it out first. Eek, yuck. Gotta take out the coals. I always, like, typical Petrina, I always put my hands in stuff and get sticky and dirty. Does that come off? It doesn't, does it? No, no, it's attached. Oh, look at your raw female strength. Plants, please. Can you not eat plants, please? <laughs> right. It's so funny because he does listen to you. He's like, I know you're talking to me. But I don't care. I'm not going to look at you. Are you eating plants, Ziggy? You're everyday outdoors, girls. <laughs> you Ziggy? I feel like I'm a little rusty at this, <laughs> but it's coming along. The barbecue will go. Just. I did it completely backwards. There she goes. That was a lot of freaking work. But I got it. Things are good. Now we can cook. We're in business. Nightly jam session. We got some more veggies there. Yes. I legit love vegetables. Like, I love vegetables. It's hard to even sum up into words. I love vegetables. Are you smelling the air, Ziggy? Are you smelling the air? Does it smell good? You can smell that over there? Yeah? Guys, it's all done. It took a very long time, like hours, and I think I'm a professional coal fanner now. I think that's gonna be my new profession in life. If all else fails, I'll just go into the coal fanning profession. But we got it, food's cooked, and we're just doing it really simple. We're literally gonna just eat out of the pan because at this point we're just hungry and we just wanna chill and eat out of the pan. <laughs> so take a little peek, we got some wine. We got our dinner. Ziggy's there hoping that he can have some. We got some mustard. And cheers, salute. salute. Yum. The taste of barbecue. You can't go wrong. Bon appetit, guys, and we will see you next week.